So let's look at a few typical examples of how we might face geometric series in uh, questions. In this question, they tell us the first term of a geometric sequence is 2 over 3, and its fifth term is 27 over 8. Determine the sum, rounded to two decimal places, of the first five terms of the sequence. So they are asking us to calculate S5, the sum of the first five terms. Now, we know that this would be A times 1 minus R to the power of 5 divided by 1 minus R. It is A and R that we need. So do we have A? A being the first term. We do have it. They tell us that uh, the first term of the geometric sequence is 2 over 3. How about R, the constant ratio? Now R, you will recall, is the first term, second term divided by the first term. That's how we can find R. Unfortunately, we don't have R. Okay, we don't have the second term, we only have the first term. But what did they give us? They gave us the fifth term. So let's see if that can help us. The fifth term, T5, is equal to 27 over 8. Now how did we get this 27 over 8? Well, we said it was the first term of 2 over 3 times the constant ratio for 4 times. This should be n minus 1, so n is 5, that makes it 5 minus 1 is 4. So with this in mind, we can see, okay, so um, we have an equation. And this equation is going to help us to find our final value. Okay, so for r, so we have multiply both sides with a 3 over 2. times 3 over 2 and that will get rid of this cluttering with the r so we just have r to the power of 4 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we now have 81 over 16 so what is r for r to the power of 4 if um, or r if r to the power of 4 is 81 over 16 well we can just take the fourth root on both sides but you have to remember whenever we take an even root we have to put a plus minus on the constant side so that we get r f is equal to the fourth root of 81 is 3 the fourth root of 16 is 2 so plus or minus 3 over 2 that is the constant ratio but they did tell us here, they gave us some extra information, that R is positive. Which means that the negative is not applicable. So we have that R is 3 over 2. And with that in mind, we can go back and substitute into my formula, my A. My R is now 3 over 2. Okay. I can substitute my A and my R. So S5 is equal to um, A was the first term. What was the first term again? 2 over 3. 2 over 3. R is 1 minus 3 over 2. And that's to the power of 5 divided by 1 minus 3 over 2. And you punch that in your calculator since they did tell us to give the answer in as a fraction. Uh, as a decimal to two decimal places let's go and see what that is let's first do this um, one minus and in brackets three over two to the power of five that's what I'm going to get inside this bracket okay that gets multiplied with two over three and that gets divided by 1 minus 3 over 2. So in my bracket I'm going to divide with 1 minus 3 over 2. And the answer that I get to two decimal places is 8,79. 8, 8,79. There we go.